Here we go. Alright y'all, so the car here, finally, here we go. Ooh, okay, so it needs a little more work. Than I expected. this I think so. Yeah. Yeah, uh, won the bid at 6000 So, and then I have one already, so I can take all my spare parts off of that and put it on here. So, um, this one's twin turbo. Oh, okay. Yeah, and the people are really, they really like the red interiors and the, and the low miles, so. They're really popular in the car community because you can make them really fast for really cheap. Yeah. I'm about to stand in the shade. <sighs> All right, so there it is. I'm gonna let him do what he do because it's hot in a mug today. Hot for me is like 85 degrees, so I don't know if that's hot for all y'all, but that's hot for me. The tires are wearing. Oh yeah, it, it, it look a little, it look a little bad. I mean, the the rotors are done on the rears, but fortunately, yes, took my rotors off of that, so I got a set of those, good to go. As y'all saw, the side mirror was jacked up. That's a quick fix, cause guess side mirrors right there from when I replaced those yeah so we should be good to go I'm gonna let this man get this off this truck and uh, we'll pull it in and give it a closer look cuts on but it doesn't drive which is why it's getting rolled off the truck so this should be interesting getting it fixed up but uh once it's fixed i've got a pretty big profit margin i'm sure i mean it cost me six thousand with the winning bid and uh So 8,000 in fees, but they sell for maybe 12, 13 with that mileage, so we'll see. All right, y'all, so I'm in it. It's running and uh, it doesn't go in, well, it goes in gear, but it doesn't move forward. Let's see if we can get a good view of this. Putting it in the drive now. If I try to move forward, you get revs with nothing, no movement. It lurks. 
just a little bit. So do the transmission or I don't know if the crankshaft is crankshaft not connected. And I'm getting a lot of white smoke out the back. So I'm gonna get this into the, the garage and uh, get underneath it and uh, really start tearing it apart because I know it needs brakes. Um, I know it needs an intercooler. I know obviously something is up with the transmission and the drive shaft. Probably won't be able to do that at home. But uh, yeah, man, I got my work cut out. Let's do a quick over around, uh, quick go around from the body real quick so you can see everything I got. And uh, yeah, it's, it's looking like it's gonna be some work. So if you know anybody looking for a 335i, I'ma definitely have one. And I'ma be looking to get paid for it. Looked like there were some, probably somebody had some of those M3 style side skirts on it. Took it off and put the stocks back on. Fitment on this carbon fiber hood's not the greatest, but I know that because I have one. Uh, see, this was cut. Not the best job, but I'm sure if I sell it, somebody will take it. Some cracks. Oh, that's missing a lug nut. Apparently someone did the exhaust cutout mod or some type of exhaust cutout underneath. You can hear it flapping around. Okay. Interior's in good shape, at least, right? Yeah, it looks good. Engine sounds strong, but we won't know that until we can actually get it moving. Can't get the key out either, so yeah, that'll be interesting. So yeah, that's the car. Hopefully, all my spare parts from this go on there and fix some of that stuff that's jacked up. But uh, keep it locked, man, because we got a lot of work coming up. A lot of work coming up. And uh, hopefully I'll get it all recorded and vlogged because uh, this will be an interesting process. First car, first salvage car anyway. Wanted to do this normally because I like doing it so much. So, y'all wish me luck, man. I'm about to get out of here and get this thing pulled up to the curb. I'm gone. So, after checking the car out, I made a list of parts that I need to replace and uh, relative cost or cost of some of them because some of them I already found on eBay and already purchased. So. Yep, this is an estimate here. Uh, that's why it's yellow. But winning bid, sales tax, auction fees, which there are a ton, and then shipping. I'm trying to get an axle back because the uh, exhaust mufflers are cut. Somebody's handiwork. I'll show a picture of that. Alternator is done. The lights flicker anytime you rev or do anything in the car. Intercooler's bent. I'll put up a picture of that also. You guys saw the condition of the bumper in the hood, so might replace those or see if I can trade with someone. People like carbon fiber and that one end bumper a lot, so might be able to trade and not have to spend any money to replace those. The interior door trims are removed 
I'm pretty sure those probably got pulled off on the way to the auction lot. It needs a tire. There's no cow. There's so there's no cabin filter either. And uh, the weather stripping on the windshield is completely done. So, so far I would be in around 10,000 if this is what I paid for a transmission replacement. So, I'm gonna keep you guys posted. Uh, gonna be a lot of work. I'm gonna mostly track what I pay in labor and spend in time fixing stuff there and any money made from selling some of the parts on it here. And uh, present an accurate picture of what it cost, what, how long it took, and um, basically just map out the whole process, man, so I can emulate it, do it again on another car or see if it was worth it. If you're interested in doing it yourself, just keep it locked, man. I'll uh, upload regularly. Y'all be cool.